death by PowerPoint. What is it and how can you avoid causing it? Imagine the scene. The room is dark. There's a hush over the audience as the speaker walks to the podium. After making a few introductory remarks, the speaker picks up a clicker and click, a slide comes up. With too many bullet points, with too much text, and with font that is too small to read. There is a loud but inaudible chorus of internal sighs oh, that is heard. And there's a collective disappointment in the audience by seeing another PowerPoint presentation that is felt. This is death by PowerPoint, also known as being bored to death, which is an English proverb. Being bored to death by a dull, underwhelming, computer-generated presentation. This phenomena of death by PowerPoint is happening in classrooms, boardrooms, and auditoriums all over the world, all the time. Presentation after presentation after presentation. But if this method of conveying information is killing the audience, why is it so ubiquitous? Why are so many people still using this technique? Well, one reason could be that it's an easy way to convey a lot of information all at once. But just because it's easy doesn't mean that it is the right solution for public speaking, especially not if it is killing the audience as a result. So what is? Well, here are two techniques that you can use to either supplement or replace PowerPoint presentations. The first one is to draw the audience in. What this means is that you are literally taking out the old school flip chart with your flip chart pen and you are drawing your figures, your graphs, your key information. This creates a living, breathing, vibrant presentation that the audience is entertained by watching, that stimulates them, and most importantly, that keeps them awake. A second technique, which is one of my favorites, is to use physical bullet points. What does this mean? This means that you are using your body to convey your bullet points. You are dancing your bullet points. How do you do it? Well, it works something like this. Let's say you have three points. Create a vertical ladder with your hand. Vertical ladder up here, point A, point B, point C. See how that goes down really nicely? Those are your bullet points. You can also create horizontal bullet points, point A, point B, point C. And if you need to go back and talk about point A, then you simply put your hands back here and the audience are keeping track of the fact that this is point A. And if you moved over here, they'd know it was point C. Finally, you can use your whole body to create the bullet points. I love this one. You can go point A, point B, and point C. You see how that works? It's beautiful. And if you had something more to say about point A, go back to point A. It's that simple. So to recap, you can use these two techniques to either supplement or to replace PowerPoint presentations. And what they will give you is an audience that is awake and alive, not a dead one. This is Laura Penn in the Speaker's Corner by theprofessionalspeakercoach.com, your resource for effective public speaking in partnership with Ducas Copy TV. Until next time.